Hi Griffins and friends of Griffins. Thanks for joining me today for this in-house workout. Um, I hope that you're all ready to have some fun, break a sweat, uh, kind of shake off that cabin fever we've all been collecting for the couple of days. Um, so this is a zero intimidation workout, so please feel free to join no matter what level of fitness you're in. Um, it's meant to be fun and get your body moving. So feel free to grab a water bottle, um, a soft mat or a soft surface if you have not already done so, and grab a workout buddy or your quarantine pal, and we're going to get started in just a couple minutes. So if you'd like to do some light stretches now just to prepare, we're going to prepare to get going in uh, about one minute while others come, come on to join us, okay? Hi friends, if you're just joining us, just do a couple light stretches and we're going to get started in just a couple of minutes. If you're having any trouble hearing me, uh, you can go ahead and use the chat feature and I can see if there's any adjustments I need to make on my end. Otherwise, you want to make sure that your computer is um, logged into to allow sound to come through. So you want to take it off of mute, if you will. All right, so we're gonna get started. Um, we're just gonna use our mats here for most of the workout. If you don't have a yoga mat, that's completely fine. Uh, you just need a soft surface for some things that we're gonna be doing on our knees and our backs in a little bit, but we're not gonna be doing any quick movements that would cause you to slip or anything. So if you wanna just come to the center of your mat, I'm gonna to try to face you to explain certain things um, and then turn this way as well so that you can see the body motion as I'm moving through different workouts, okay? Um, I just wanna check one feature before we get started. Okay, great. Looks like everybody can hear me all right. Um, and I just want to remind you, if you're a beginner or some of these moves are a little bit tricky for you, don't worry. Just keep your body moving. Um, I actually have a baby on board, so this is a zero intimidation class. We're going to just be moving our bodies for some wellness and health. Um, so if you need to rock it out in child's pose for a move or two or pause to catch your breath, um, please feel free to do that and then just join right back in. Okay. All right. So let's come to our mats and we're going to start with some squats. So we're gonna have our legs hip distance apart and we're just gonna work it out into some squats. Okay, and then we're gonna add some bowlers into this. So we're just opening up those hip flexors. So we're gonna kick it back into a bowler. Okay, and then we're gonna add a lunge step in. And I'm switching legs so that we're really just working all these joints. And we're gonna do that series three more times. And 
nice and slow, nice and steady. We're really trying to work the whole stabilization system to get warmed up. Back to those squats. And the bowlers. And make sure you're really breathing through all this. Forward step. Really activating those glutes here, okay? And last set. Feel free to swing your arms, get everything moving. Should feel those glutes and quads really starting to wake up. Okay, so shake it out. Everybody should have their juices flowing, ready to do some movements, okay? So we're gonna move down onto our mat and we're gonna be in tabletop position to get situated. And then we're gonna slowly reach, rock ourselves back into a plank push up. So right now, if you're a beginner, if you're feeling like you might wanna start on your knees to do these push ups, that's perfectly fine. If you wanna challenge yourself and do a push up from a regular position, feel free to do that as well, okay? So we're just gonna do four tricep push-ups. So straight down, and you want your elbows grazing right past that rib cage. Nice. And then rock it back into child's pose. Really stretch out. Okay. Rock it back. All right, then we're gonna come right back to tabletop. Make sure you're pulling your belly button in, engaging that core. And now we're gonna push up into a plank position and we're gonna do some bare steps. So we're gonna step, step, back, back. Step, step, back, back. Step, step, back, back. Step, step, back, back. Right to that plank position. If you wanna take a child's pose here again, please feel free to do so. Otherwise, we're gonna pop right back up and we're gonna go right back to that plank position and we're gonna do some step outs. So step out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Okay? Rock it back into child's pose. Feel free to grab water if you need to at any point in this, but we're gonna do three more sets of that, okay? Just like that. So when you're ready, like I said, either in plank position or kneeling position, we're gonna do those four plank tricep push-ups. Right into that plank. Step, step, back, back. Step, step, back, back. Step, step, back, back. Step, step, back, back. And if you can, right to the outside. Step, step, back, back. Step, step, back, back, step, step, back, back, step, step, back, back. And then rock it back into child's pose. And you really should feel your triceps and your core really engaging here. So you're really waking up all those muscles. I recognize that, you know, a lot of us have been indoors. Some of these muscles haven't moved for a couple of weeks or days. So feel free to use that child's pose. Feel free to grab water when you need. And we're gonna do two more sets just like that. So if you wanna stretch it out a little bit, give those muscles a little relaxation, and meet me back here for those tricep push-ups. We got four. One, two, three, four. Push it back. Now those bear steps. Step, step. Back, back. And right out to the side. Nice. Rock it back. 
Make sure you're breathing in and out. Really deep, really fill up that diaphragm. Okay, last set. We're gonna either go into right into your plank for those push-ups, or use your knees, whichever one's more comfortable. And we got four. One, two, three, four. Rock it back. Right up to plank. One, two, three, four. And right out to those side steps. Right to the knees and rock it back. Awesome job. Grab some water. Thumbs up. Stretch them out. Open. Thumbs down, stretch them out. Give yourself a little side twist. You did great, that's not an easy one. All right, grab some water. Just gonna check the chat, see if anyone has any questions. All right, cool. All right, so we're back on our mats. We're gonna come down to tabletop. So now we're gonna be working the whole core area. So it's important that when you're in tabletop, your start position is that both of your hands are directly below your elbows. So you wanna make sure that you're leaning right on top of those. There's no you know, lean back or arched back. You wanna make sure that you have a nice flat, strong back. You're sucking your belly button towards your spine and your knees should be trending right in parallel with those hands. Okay, so we're gonna start out by doing a tabletop reach and crunch. So you're gonna start with your right hand and you're gonna extend your right hand and your left foot, so the opposites, and then you're gonna crunch that in, touch your knee to your elbow and crunch it right back out. And then back to start. We're gonna start with working one side of our body first for this next series and then we're gonna switch over to the other side. So if you started with the right hand forward and the left leg extended, we're gonna stick with that for these next three series, okay? So let's try that again. We're gonna do right hand forward, crunch, right hand forward, crunch, right hand forward, crunch, right hand forward, crunch. And then right here, we're gonna add in a frog kick. So that's simply from the tabletop position. That left leg that you've been extending is gonna kick straight out. Some people also call this fire hydrant, if you can imagine a dog. Great. And after those four, we're gonna take that same left leg and do four pulses straight up in the air. Great. Now we're gonna do that whole series again, and then don't worry, we'll switch to the other side as well. So right hand forward, left leg extended, crunch, 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 hand down, right into that fire hydrant. Two, three, four, right into that pulse. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Now we're gonna give some fun to the other side. So same thing, opposite side. You're gonna lift that left hand, right leg. Crunch, 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 right into that fire hydrant. One, two, three, four, right into that pulse. One, two, three, four, and then kick it right back to that start. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Awesome, bring that back down, shift yourself back, give a little shake out, and we're gonna do that again to both sides, okay? Feel free to grab some water, towel off if needed. All 
All right, ready? We're gonna come back to the four tabletop and we're gonna start with that right hand, left leg. Or if you've been doing the opposite, just you wanna go back to the first one you did, okay? So extend the right hand, left leg, crunch. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, so those pulses, one, two, three, four. Back to start, one, two, three, four. Fire hydrant, one, two, three, four, and then those pulses. And make sure these pulses are small little movements, right in that glute. Great, and we're gonna switch to the other side. So we're gonna take our left hand forward, left leg straight, and crunch. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You wanna make sure that stabilization leg is strong and sturdy and not moving, okay? Another one on that side. Left arm forward, right leg extended. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Kick it back. One more set of those. You are gonna thank me tomorrow when you feel your booty is nice and worked out and happy to be off the couch. If you wanna stand up and give yourself a little shake out, and we'll do that final set. Towel off if needed. All right. Last set of these, you're doing great, okay? Tabletop position, make sure everything is parallel, everything's trending right below your shoulders. And we're gonna start right hand, left leg. One, two, three, four. Hydrants, one, two, three, four. Pulses, one, two, three, four. Same side, last one. One, two, three, four. Right into those hydrants. One, two, three, four. Pulses. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Give it a little wiggle, maybe a little cat cow. Last one, best one, okay? Left hand forward, right leg back. Extend. One. Two, three, four. Fire hydrants. One, two, three, four. Pulse. One, two, three, four. Back to start. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, last four, one, two, three, four. Awesome job, you did it. And you can see my workout buddy is finally starting to wake up. Bella. So you can see you can do this with any type of workout friend. Oh, well that's a good spot for you. All right, grab some water, towel off while I, uh, Try to get Bella to give me back my mat. Go over there. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. How's everybody feeling? Give me a virtual thumbs up. Good stuff. Okay. So we are going to actually jump up to our mats now or whatever soft surface you're using. Give yourself a little back bend. Touch your toes if you can. 
Straighten yourself out. Kind of shake out the kinks from that last one. That was a hard one, but you did great. And we're gonna move into working our glutes and lower body now, okay? We're also gonna be activating our core for some stabilization. So this is really gonna be a nice full body exercise for us. All right, let me just check to make sure no one's chatting or asking any questions. <laughs> All right, let's see. It looks like I'm having some uh, people say that I'm freezing a little bit. Am I back on there? See, hopefully that's that's working better for you all. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna move into some warrior moves. So we're gonna be in warrior two. So you're gonna stand feet a little bit wider than hip length apart. We're gonna start with pointing our right leg forward and our left leg is gonna be straight turning forward. So we're in warrior two and we're gonna do some knee bends towards the front as we shift our weight into a nice side lunge there. Four, and then we're gonna go to a touch, 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 and bring our arms back. One, two, three, four, touch, 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 and back. So make sure that when you're doing these touches, your back is staying straight, you're really bending these knees, this leg is extended, so that you're really feeling that side lunge movement. Okay? So we're back into warrior one, we're gonna still go into the right. One, two, three, four. Do that touch. One, two, three, Four. Last one on this side. One, two, three, four. Touch, 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 touch. Great. Now we're going to shift our toes to the opposite side and we're going to do the same thing on the left. One, two, three, four. Touch, 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 touch. One, two, three. Touch, 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 touch. One, two, three, four. Touch, 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 touch. Last one on this side before the switch. One, two, three, four. Touch, 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 touch. Shake it out, give me a little wiggle, hands up. And we're gonna shift those feet again back to the starting leg, okay? One, two, three, four. Same leg. Last one this side. Sure you get nice and low, really pivoting that movement. Okay, now we're gonna shift our feet to the other side. And same thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
three, four. Last one, one, two, three, four. Awesome. Now we're gonna shift both those toes to be pointing forward. And we're gonna give ourselves a nice stretch down. So reach all the way to your mat if you can, really stretching out the backs of those glutes. And we're gonna shift our weight and hands all the way over to the left side, reaching as close to those toes, or if it's more comfortable for you to be on the middle of your leg, that's fine too. Just really trying to stretch out that, those hip flexors and those glutes. Back to center. Awesome. This should feel really good in the backs of those legs. And all the way over to the other side. Nice. Maybe let your head hang for a little while. Stretch out that neck. You can move into ragdoll here where your arms are connected and you sort of just let yourself sway. Awesome. All right, grab some water. And then we're going to move in and we're going to work our core. Okay, do some ab works. Seeing if I can connect these. All right. Looks like we're having some connection problems. Um, so if that is the case, don't worry. This is going to be recorded and then we can get you um, copies of the video as well so that you can do this on your own time or you know, not have to use my, my frozen internet here that's happening today. Um, but we'll see if we can give it a minute to sort of reboot here, making sure that this internet access is working according to our plans. All right, let's jump onto our mat. Okay. And we're going to come down onto our backs, so our supine position. And we are going to do some leg lifts, followed by some hand chops and some heel touches. So we're going to walk through what each of those mean first. And then we're going to do four sets like we've been doing. So if you lay on your back, okay, you want your lower back to be flat to the floor, belly button sucked in, your shoulders are going to be lifted, and we're going to point our feet like this. And we're hands behind our head. We're going to do one, two, one, two, three. 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 Okay, that's the first movement. Then we're gonna move our legs down and we're gonna move into the karate chop. This might be easier for me to face you this way so you can see where my hands are going. But essentially, legs are gonna be feet width apart, heels on the floor, and we're gonna chop, 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 chop. So you're just chopping in and out and either side. And we're going to be here for 16 movements. So you're really getting that range of motion. Okay. And then the last exercise in that series is going to be heel touches. So you want your heels to be close together, about maybe a foot length from your behind. You're going to lay low on your back. And with your hands, you're going to alternate touching your heels. Okay, so we're doing the leg kicks, four kicks of four series, 16 chops, 16 heel touches. Okay, so we're here for three more of these. Ready? Hands up, slow, slow, one, two, three. 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 Slow, slow. One, two, three. Feet down. Karate chop. One, two, three, four. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Right into those heel taps. One, two, three, four. 
slow, slow, one, two, three. 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 Right into those chops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, two, one. Heel taps. Five, four, three, two, one. Right back up to those points. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Slow, slow, quick, quick, quick. 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 One, two. Three, four. Five, four, three, two, one. Heel touches. Four, three, two, one. Last set, you've got this. You're almost there. Slow, slow, one, two, three. 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 Karate chop, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Right to the heels, go, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Awesome work. You did it. Kick those legs out. Stretch as tall as you can. Ooh, great work. That is not an easy way to end. Now wiggle those toes. Give your body a minute to come down. Really, really stretching out. Maybe move your arms to the side. Bring your knees up and rock them over to the side. Whichever way you like. And reach towards the opposite end. And a nice stretch for a few breaths. Make sure you're breathing deeply. And if you wanna shift those legs over to the other side, and look over to the other direction, reaching. And maybe bring your knees up to a ball, kind of rock it around, massaging those back bones, those butt bones, giving yourself a nice little butt massage at the end of that. If you want to come up to sitting. Connect your hands and stretch forward, giving yourself a nice back bend. Move that up and then reconnect behind, giving yourself a nice stretch. If you want to walk those hands to one side, giving yourself a nice spine twist here, using your knee and your leg to push If you want to walk that over to the other side, getting a nice push, nice stretch in that spine. And maybe we come to tabletop one last time and push up into downward dog, pedaling out. Lower down to a cobra. Give yourself a nice back bend there if you can. Let your head sway back and forth. Giving yourself a nice neck massage. 
And push back into that downward dog again, pedaling out. If you can step forward, let yourself have a nice little bend here. You straighten out your back, nice bend again. And then let yourself come up one vertebrae at a time. Give those arms a nice stretch, a nice twist. Standing tall in mountain pose here. Let's give ourselves a nice big breathe in, exhale, breathe down. Reaching, reaching. Maybe one more big breath in and dive down. Releasing all that energy and that tension. Come back up. Hands to the center. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun. I realized there were some connection issues, so we'll definitely get that worked out before we do another workout. Um, join me here on Mondays at 1 o'clock. You can also follow our Chestnut Hill social media pages, um, Facebook, obviously, um, Chestnut Hill College at um, Instagram, or you can follow me on Instagram at leaderlifestyles.com. We're always posting fun tips to, to keep your sanity while we're stuck indoors. Um, but there's always fun ways to move your body. If you can do it 30 minutes a day, it will mean the world of difference. Um, and I'm always here to answer questions if I can. So I hope you had a nice time with me today. I really enjoyed working out with you. And stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Okay, girlfriends, we'll talk to you soon.